Good morning everybody, welcome back to Fanblade. It's Guitar Buildathon Day 13. Hopefully nothing goes too badly wrong. Um, we're going to get into a lot of sanding. We've got to finish up the headstocks and get them nice. We've got to uh, get the body ends of the necks sorted. With the with this one, I'm not sure why I did, did it. I carved the, uh, the initial slot in quite square, whereas normally I would do this, because that makes getting in with the detail sander and just cleaning that up easy. That's not going to be so easy, so I'm going to have to come in very carefully with the rasp and just knock those corners off. Uh, I might even take a little slice off there, just because it's a bit thick. Um, uh, but everything else should be relatively straightforward. I've got a detail sander and a belt sander and a set of calipers and uh, a lot of podcasts to listen to, so let's get on with it. So that's all the headstocks down to very close to their final thickness. Just while I've got this thing out, uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to swap out the disc uh, for a fresh one and sand some bodies. Just because that seems like a fun job and I'm a little bit sick of necks to be honest. So uh, yes, um, I might have to hit that with a heat gun. We'll see. Or rather I'll do, you'll see.
Okay, so the bodies are looking good. Uh, looking very nice, very sharp. Um, I'm a little bit pleased with that. These are just going to get uh, sort of a basic contour. Uh, this one's going to get less of a contour because the fellow who it's going to uh, just wants more of a slab body. So there's a be a little bit of an arm contour there and just round off the rest. Uh, this one, however, is going to get quite a lot of attention. Uh, I'm going to route a binding channel and bind it and do a proper arch top on that one because that's the guitar that I've got in mind. So that'll happen. But first off, I need to finish these necks. The setup for finishing the necks off is actually pretty simple. It involves a piece of equipment you may have heard of known as a towel and a detail sander. Um, I'm using, wherever I put it, there it is. It's, uh, yeah, just generic sandpaper. Um, these packs are about five or six bucks each and they've got two 60 grit, two 120 and one 180. That should be, two packs should be sufficient for four necks. <laughs> v Velcro. It's hard to get good help. And there it is. It's very smooth. Um, I've sanded it out to 400 by hand. Uh, and it's very, very nice. Uh, I'm very happy with that. It took an hour and a half. It's a lot of footage to shoot, it's a lot of footage to edit, and it's a lot of footage for you to sit through. 
I'm not going to film any more of it because I just genuinely don't see the value in showing you the same thing with three more times. Uh, what I am going to show you though is I think the thing that we've all been waiting for and that is getting some finish on this flame and seeing how that pops. Time to glove up. Yeah, check out the chatoyance on that. That's just absolutely stunning. That's really, really cool. I'm very happy with that. I'm not particularly happy with the scarf joint, though. It's a shame that bit of discoloured wood there was uh, just right where the scarf joint landed. Oh, well. It is what it is. It is a neck. It's a very, very nice one as well. Anyway, um, that's where we're leaving it today. Look at that, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Alright, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hit subscribe and come back tomorrow. And we'll see if lightning strikes twice. Thanks, bye.